Hello, it's Australia with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. That everyone is well. Watch out for scammers soliciting you for readings in the comment section. That's not me. What does the collective need to know right now that is watching? Okay, so we have a King of Wands in the upright. Some sort of blessing or an offer, an opportunity, uh, and chariot getting control of a situation. We have a masculine energy with some sort of opportunity getting control of the situation. This person, this person might have been pretty weighed down by something that they were keeping to themselves. They might have been really looking inwards for a while. The, the situation that could have been a bit of a nightmare for them. Um, so it's a masculine energy in the upright. Enigmatic, a leader, successful leader, charismatic, strong, strong presence, attractive. The problem for this person is an empress in the reverse. So there's a feminine energy that is very draining, codependent and needy, uh, that's causing this person a problem or that's a challenge for this person. Um, yeah. about some sort of shame or someone didn't get the they didn't get what they deserve as far as like being appreciated they didn't get the the victory it's this star energy someone who's very inspirational and hopeful um, someone who's born to shine could also be a healer uh, activist visionary so there's something in this person is subconscious about someone who didn't, or someone's being shamed because of this person. In the recent past, we had death. So there was a major ending. Yeah, death in, in the recent past, something ended. So I imagine this King of Wands, something ended for this, this King of Wands, but they've still got some sort of an issue with this Empress in the reverse. Hierophant reverse. Uh, this is about doing something unorthodox or uh, this could be a, a leaving a something traditional, leaving something traditional behind. That's their intentions. In the near future, this King of Wands, wow. We have an emperor in the upright, so this is a masculine energy that is um, a leader, someone that's in control. Uh, yeah, this is very, 
the very strong positive masculine energy here. Let's keep going. So we've got this leader. This could be two different masculine energies, or it could be this king of wands leading the way. Four of swords, they could be sleeping right now. They could be meditating. They could be off on a retreat. They could be needing some time to um, recalibrate. Yeah, like some sort of retreat or they could be not well. They could be feeling tired. They could be on a break. They could be looking at some sort of a break. They want a break. I mean, it could be this King of Wands that just has gone through a major transformation with this death card. And they are in the upright. <laughs> we have a snoring doggy in the background. Um, five of coins, so somebody is coming across as very much out in the cold, could have lost everything, could be going through a dark night of the soul. Seven of coins reverse. Someone put their effort into something, uh, whatever they invested in, um, it's not turning out the way they like. This is one of those things where it's like wasted energy. It's getting, getting through a phase and really looking and seeing that something has not worked out. Uh, there, there are ramifications for what a person puts their energy into, and I feel like this person could be afraid of something having to do with that because it's in the reverse. So it's like a you reap what you sow type of card. Uh, outcome. We have two of pentacles reverse. So this could be some sort of financial chaos. An imbalance, mental or emotional imbalance as well, for someone, maybe not this king of wands, or we'll, we'll see, I'm going to clarify. Um, so we have these three of wands under the deck. So this has, this has to do with someone's ships coming in, someone's eye on the prize, someone's hoping for something, they've done a lot, they put a lot of effort into something, uh, and this is about waiting for something to come in now, or this has to do with someone's effort, someone who's very, um, who's put a lot of work in and something's due to them, or something, something's coming in. So let's see. Let's use the kippers. Hmm. Thief marriage reverse. So this could be all about releasing someone who's a real time, money, energy stealer and getting a divorce. Getting divorcing a narcissistic person. Uh and that could be why Hierophant reverses there. This person wants to get a divorce and they have a problem with this codependent, narcissistic, feminine energy. They could be wanting to get out of whatever dwelling it is that they share with this person. Or that could be happening now and they've got to get through all of that. There could be another masculine energy involved in this. So we have King of Wands. Wow. This person has high honor or it's all about their honor. This person's very honorable or they're very focused on their honor. They could be someone who holds some sort of a position as well. Um, Cause this is like, these are soldiers on the front line. 
So it could have to do with that. Or it's just this person, they're taking control. I mean, with Chariot there, Chariot it can be a warrior as well. It's like it's very warrior. It's like the inner spirit being able to control the outer environment and something coming in or a blessing. Very, very much a leader here. A high honor leader with a blessing or getting control of a situation. Now, now the problem is this, this Empress energy in the reverse. Something about expectation, reverse. Some, someone has some sort of expectations or something about someone's expectations is an issue. This, this um, codependent draining feminine energy. Something about their expectations is an issue. Um, Toil and Labor Reverse is clarifying Six of Wands Reverse. So it's like someone didn't put the work in where, uh, you know, someone's gotten been shamed or someone's like a real hopeful, inspirational energy. And there's some shame around that, that someone didn't put the work in with, with this energy. Death in the Recent Past. This, whatever this was, this happened within a community. Someone could have severed ties, or this was a big ending for an entire group of people. This person's moving forward, um, intending on doing something unorthodox or getting a divorce, even hierophant reverse, leaving, leaving a religious organization. Uh, they want to come towards a divine feminine energy who is not part of whatever this institution is or this tradition. In the near future, this emperor is going to be in a family room with a few people. I'm not sure what that means uh, yet. Four of Swords, so like I was saying, they might be reflecting. So right now this person could be just like literally laying, laying on a couch and thinking, just taking time to reflect on everything and what they want to do. Five of Coins, there's someone out in the cold here, or they appear to be out in the cold, but maybe people don't know that they've quickly transformed or or someone is in, out in the cold, maybe in their environment. Maybe maybe this empress is in the reverse is with them and is out in the cold. Coffin reverse. Someone doesn't want something to end. Who's out in the cold? Seven of coins. But I feel like this death already happened, so it's interesting. Someone's trying not to let something end. Seven of coins, someone's worried about something that the time and that they invested into something. Something about a message with this false person. Messages about a false person or something like that. Um, outcome. This has to do with someone's journey. Chaos, a lot of chaos on their journey. So we've got poverty here again. So there's some sort of loss, money, monetary loss, but it's like this person's in the upright. They're focused on their honor and honor and a blessing and getting control of the situation. It's trying to, it seems like get away from this toxic feminine energy. Um, some major transformation has happened. Um, someone could have severed ties with a whole group of people and they want to head towards a divine feminine. Um, so this King of Wands, uh, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. This can be, King of Wands can be a male or a female. It's probably a male. But this can be a, a female who is embodying more of their masculine energy. It can be a leader, 
very successful leader. Um, and maybe they're going to visit this person who's in charge and spend some time with them in this room together. Um, but they still want to come towards you. This could be someone from your past. Um, they want to, there's something about, I feel like this is a karmic feminine. I feel like this is some sort of copycat energy. This person has gone through a whole transformation, a very dramatic ending. Uh, I feel like tied into a relationship or some collaboration or something with this person. And, uh, so now they're, yeah, they're, they're looking to change it. Um, let's just clarify. Let's clarify the emperor and, and the family room. Let's just see what's going on with that. Something about someone that, that's being ghosted, not taking a dirty offer. Um, someone's not chasing someone, someone's ghosted. So what's going on with this emperor in the family room? Reversing this creativity muncher, so letting go of, or there's something about this person who feeds off of someone who's not there, releasing releasing this energy. Someone's really bossing up here. This is, this is a masculine energy in the upright, and that's good. That's really, really good. Um, so there, so what's about what's going on with this message? This false person. Something about someone being unbothered. Someone's worried about a message. This false person. Something about someone being unbothered in regard to a message that's connected to a false person. Someone put in some effort where they shouldn't have in regards to a message having to do with a false person. Or they could feel like They want to move forward. This false person could be sending messages to them and they put all the, they a lot of effort in with this person and they want to be unbothered by them, but they, they like invested so much in them. They're trying to, um, rise above the energy could be. Yeah. It feels like maybe this, this person is trying to get them into some sort of like romantic energy and maybe this person might want someone's money or something like that. This person might be trying to find out what they're doing or something like that. What's going on with this journey? The journey is in the upright, but there's a lot of chaos. Two of coins, something's out of balance. Yeah, there's like money issues on someone's journey. Yeah, there's some sort of money issues here. Someone's dealing with that. Some chaos in regards to money. I also see poverty here as well. So someone someone with this death and commute in the community and all that stuff might have really um, taken a financial beating. Um, there's something about an offer here. Someone might be wanting to give someone an offer I feel like they want to come towards a divine feminine. Um, so I'm going to do one more pass. So we've got this masculine energy. It's an ace of coins, chariot, getting control of a situation. Eight of cups, person's walking away. Yeah, they're walking away. They're looking for more meaning. Um, looking for more meaning. They feel like they have a blessing. They want to get control of their environment. Um, I feel like they feel like this blessing is you or there's something, or they might, something could have landed in their lap or they could have shifted their energy and very quickly received some sort of a blessing that's helping them to shift their environment. 
What about this Empress? This Empress, their expectation. Why is expectation there? King of Wands. Wow. It's who this person wants, because this is the King of Wands here, and then we have this King of Wands here, so it's what this person wants this person to be. It's what this person wants this person to be. It's who this person expects. It's expectations. <laughs> That's what it says there, expectations. Um, I mean, they could be also thinking about a divine feminine. Um, wanting to, to be this high honor to rise to the occasion. But I feel like it's like they haven't, someone has, it could be that, or it could be this karmic feminine. Hmm. Interesting. Um, three of coins. This is clarifying to toil and labor. So it has to do with work. So not putting the work in uh, with the star energy. There's something about that that's really bothering them. And it feels like there's some sort of shame or fall from grace attached to that, but it's in the subconscious. So they might not recognize that that's what's bothering them. Community death. Um, wow. So 10 of coins, this has to do with generational wealth this has to do with um a windfall this has to do with an inheritance uh this could be a wealthy kind of a culture of of people who are all very wealthy together this family a larger group of people some huge ending with this this group and it could have really affected this person's uh money, their finances, or there's a bunch of people that got their finances. Uh, they're just having a big, big problem, but there's something else that's kind of corresponding with that. There's a huge ending. The end of this group, an issue with finances, a major transformation for multiple people. And, and especially in regards to finances. And of course, obviously, I feel like this has to do with something more specific than what's going on with the stock market. But that could be also part of it. I, I just feel like it's, it's more than that. It's because with this death card, there's just something more to it. This could be some sort of a like... An entire like group of people that are all connected with a family because this is a family card some sort of inheritance yeah something a big big ending for multiple people so this person wants to head towards a mature woman eight of swords they feel emotionally stuck on how to do that they, they're not sure they're not sure how to get out of this trap. They feel like to, to do what they need to do. They're not sure how to move forward. Eight of swords is, is like feeling a little bit disempowered or it's a, it's psychologically, it's a self-imposed prison about how to move forward. But they want to, they just don't know, you know, the first step or any step they take seems treacherous or seems wrong or they're not sure it's like what the right move is to make. But it's the Eight of Swords, there's like the traditional image is like someone with a blindfold on um, in a circle of swords that are in the ground. And if 
and their but their hands aren't tied, so they could take their own blindfold off and they would see the exit. Uh, so that's the traditional illustration on the Eight of Swords. So that's why it's a self-imposed prison, a psychological uh, prison. Um, not, I'm not saying that it, it isn't like, you know, a Rubik's Cube, it probably is, but, uh, that's just the meaning of the card. So, someone is really bossing up with a lot of power here in the near future, this Emperor. Um, six of Coins, Sixes are all about transitions, that's a, that's healing. That's healing, um, the five is poverty. Six is a transition, it's movement um, away from conflict. Fives are conflict. So, um, coins that has to do with like a power balance, get someone getting what they deserve, something fair, nobility, giving, receiving. So this is about doing what's fair or someone getting what they deserve. This has to do with letting go of whatever this, like, feeding off of someone, draining someone, copying them, doing all this stuff uh, to someone. It's over. It's someone's bossing up here, doing what's fair and right. They could be giving someone something. This could be a transaction that only a few people know about. Most likely that's what it will be. Um, and again, this doesn't have to be love. It, it can be someone from your past, but this could also have to do with a friendship or family. I don't, I'm not really getting family. It could be some sort of like business. This could have to do very much with business because we've got this like three of coins here. This has to do with work, toil and labor. This is, has to do with work. Um, Four of Swords, someone's like really taking the time to think something through. Five of Cups, they feel a sense of regret and loss about how things have gone. They, they're feeling grief, so they're just there like meditating or reflecting. They're reflecting through their feelings. If someone, someone lost some, a lot of money here or something like that. Someone could be also trying to like overcome sort of like illness. Or there's someone here that, that's like near this person that doesn't want something to end. So we have five of coins. <sighs> Clarifying five of coins. So this is definitely something to do with poverty. That's what the five of coins is. This is a loss, and we just have this death ten of coins here in the recent past, so some huge financial loss. Uh, spiritually, this is like a dark night of the soul. So this person could be, I mean, this could be someone who's had a near-death experience or be very un, just unwell, dark night of the soul, or there could be someone else here who doesn't want something to end, or someone could be really sick death here, a death in the community, a big, huge loss. This could also be an inheritance. Someone got an inheritance. I mean, because of death and ten of pentacles and family could be, but I just don't think so. I mean, but we, we have this ace of coins here. It's like someone feel, realizes they have a blessing or they have this opportunity and they want to find more meaning in their life and they want to get control of their situation. They're, they're unsure about expectations. They're unsure about how to move forward. But after whatever this big transformation is, they, they, want, they, want, to, they want to move towards this feminine energy. Um, for them, it's unorthodox. In the near future, someone's going to be making something fair. They're really thinking through everything, their grief, their loss. They're trying to look inwards, really taking the time to think through things. I feel like they want to make an offer to someone. There's something about like this, whatever they put in, some sort of effort. Four of Wands. This has to do with like milestones and home, the home and romance and this false person and 
not giving someone money and all this romance stuff with someone who's not authentic or not real. So putting all this effort into something with this person and will someone be unbothered about that? Or will this person be unbothered about that? We have this outcome. Someone's really like, wow, 10 of cups. That's interesting. So we have 10 of cups. So someone could be really struggling with finances, but be very, very emotionally happy. This is a sense of belonging. This is like, this is everlasting joy. This is a sense of love. This is feeling, feeling like just really warm and just in a warm environment. Very, very happy, a lot of joy. So that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that card to come out. Um, so there could be a lot of chaos for someone losing a lot, but someone's moving forward on their journey and there's a lot of happiness there. Wow. And we have six of swords under the deck. So this is also a transition card. This is about moving. This is definitely be a physical move. It's a transition card. This is leaving the storm and heading towards calmer waters. It's another, it's another leaving the conflict behind. It's a transition towards healing. So yeah, someone is like, they're looking at, they put some effort into something or someone did and they want to move forward and get heal themselves and get calm and have a nice environment and be a leader and be in the upright and find more meaning yeah, and it looks like if they do that and they continue on, or I don't know if this is them with this person, but whoever this is, if they do this, their journey, there could still be some financial chaos, but they're going to be happy. Or there's some chance for some happiness or someone's going to be dealing with two of coins in reverse, but then there's also someone here who's very happy. So I don't know, maybe... I mean, someone's very happy and someone's broke or is living with a lot of chaos. So it could be two different energies or there's, I mean, that's a family there, 10 of, ten of um, cops. 